everybody. To Dishonored. Alright, so supposedly we have finished the game, right? And all we have to do is go celebrate. That's it. The Lord Regent's done. Farewell to Hiram Burroughs, you scheming piece of shit. Now we can bend the law to pardon our past crimes, Corvo. We'll find Dow, the assassin the Lord Regent sent to butcher the Empress. Then you can have your revenge. We'll have to move fast to clean up his mess. The armed forces will do their job. Martin has control of the overseers. And you, Trevor. Do whatever it is you do with Parker. That's Lord Trevor Pendleton to you. Without me, you'll never command the nobility. They'll tear you apart like a fish. Sorry, Corvo. We're nervous. Your work is done, and ours begins. The coronation will be an impromptu affair, but it still requires much preparation. Most of it we can handle, but there is the matter of security. Emily will be vulnerable to whoever killed her mother. I doubt history will repeat itself. But you must be sharp and wary tomorrow. He's right. Rest. Restore yourself. Raid Piero's wares. Restock your ammo and make yourself ready. Just in case. To Corvo, the man who served to change the course of history. To Emily Cole, and the new dawn rising for Dunwall and the Empire. Have you given Emily much spiritual education? The Seven Strictures? The Litany and the White Cliff? I... no. I lack the qualifications, Overseer. Uh, hi, Overseer. Perhaps you ought to send her to me, and soon. She is a spoiled child, even if she's to be an Empress. Okay, what was that? I'm tired of being afraid. When I'm Empress, I'm going to make everyone else afraid instead. Just like you do, Corvo. The other day I saw Emily staring at you. Do you think she understands what you've done? The Pendletons? Lady Boyle? I think on some level she knows what's been done in her name. I can control the Abbey. I just don't know if I can heal it. Alright, so it's not the music that's causing this distortion. Emily will revoke the warrant on you tomorrow. Until then, legally there's still a fairly lavish reward, so I'd keep your head down and your mask on if I were you. The Abbey is corrupt, but as long as it stays that way, I can control it. Campbell's journal was a gift. We do all this work, all this risk, so that a child can assume leadership of an empire in chaos. I give us very slim odds. All of us. You are an impressive man, Corvo. I hope they give you the credit you deserve. Hello, Corvo. The Pendletons owe you a debt. The servants get blamed for everything that goes wrong, but we aren't in charge. How does that make sense? What will you do now that the revolution's come, Mr. Corvo? I hope you have a good plan. I know I do. Yeah, 
little warpy. There we go. Oh, hey, there's a key upstairs. Alright, we're gonna go upstairs. supposed to get that. regular intervals. Locked. Doesn't say it's unbreakable. put something together for you? Sure. Alright, let's stock up now. Those fools think what they did matters, do they? A new Lord Regent. I feel the real war has been lost. My efforts to cure the plague have failed. Sokolov is a fraud. I see nothing but darkness before us. Why is that window closed? Yeah. 
pass out. Samuel, you move like you've been drinking. Did the poison work its magic? Is he dead? It better have worked. It cost me a month's profit. Yes, sir. I believe Corvo has breathed his last. Just as you wanted. See you've done a fine say. job then. Remember, we need the body. If we come forward with the corpse of the man who murdered the Empress, we'll be greeted as heroes. Yes, it'll grant us legitimacy. We'll be the men who rescued Emily and brought down the Lord Regent and his assassin. You'll see to the body, won't you, Samuel? Yes, sir. I told you they were setting me up. Why I keep sticking my neck out for you eludes me. But I only gave you half the poison, Corvo. They were watching me do it, but not close enough. Maybe you'll survive it. I can hardly blame them for turning on you. After all the people slaughtered in the name of this cause. Those are crimes of state. And maybe they figure it'd be too hard to control Emily with you around. Could be they're right on that score. I'll drop you in a boat, and then I've got to ship out myself before they smother me in my sleep. That's the next thing. Makes the most sense. If you're lucky, you'll wake up and find your way out of this doomed city. If not, well, goodbye. Tech Weavers do their something. <clears throat> Only saved last moment by Samuel. Left you adrift in a ruined section of Dunwall. That's why I ammoed up first. I had a feeling something was up. This is the one who was with the Empress when she died. Poison. Tivian stuff. Amateur work. He'll live. That's up to Dowd. I know a great deal, bodyguard. I recognize those marks on your hand. A gift from your friend. The one who talks to you in the dark. Talks to you when you visit his shrines. I visited those shrines too. And I know what it felt like to shove a blade into your empress. But I don't know you. Who you are. And who you fight for. You're a mystery, and I can't allow that. Here you are at last, in a ruined and drowning world, held captive by the man who killed your empress, the assassin Dowd. Your friends poisoned you and dumped your body in the river. Did they do it to protect themselves, so no one would ever know what they'd done? Or was it because they were a single move away from controlling an empire, 
and they knew you'd never let them manipulate Emily. Maybe none of these. Perhaps that's just the nature of man. Bricks. What do I need bricks for? Go higher. And I can just go down the red hole. No, 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 no. No. They butchered the deep ones here, breathing in the rich stink of their enchanted flesh. Slack doll, we watched him for a week, and when we were ready to make our move, he suddenly disappeared. Maybe he left the city. Yes. 